Hey guys, Multi Game Master One reporting in, and welcome back to my 100% Let's Play of Banjo Kazooie. In the last part, we started exploring Goldie's Valley, and in this episode, we're going to finish Goldie's Valley, and we're going to start in this pyramid that we left off on because we really didn't bother to explore any of it yet. So let's just go ahead and get inside. And right here, we have a mom mom. Let me just kill it real quick before we take care of some stuff around here. Okay, so in this room we have some notes and what appears to be a puzzle right here and an Ikum token. So what we have to do in this room is to match up all of the pictures together within 100 seconds. If you're successful, then you will get a prize. If not, you'll simply just have to start over. As of right now, we've matched the Feather and Kazooie. Hopefully I can get this done in one try. Of course, I don't remember exactly where all of the picture locations are, so this may require more than one try, but as of right now, I'm doing really well. Okay, that wasn't it. Uh, Honeycomb. Honeycomb, is it this one? No, that's a blue egg. Okay, so the blue egg was here. There we go, another picture match. Jinjo, I think it's this one. There we go. Honeycomb energy. This should be it. No, that's Banjo's face. Sorry guys, apparently my memory slips away. Okay, another picture matched up, and I think that this is the last one. So after the completing that little mini game, we get another Jiggy. Pretty easy in my personal opinion. Okay, so let's make our way out of here because our work here is done. And now it's time to explore the middle of Gobi's Valley. First thing I'm gonna do is swim down here and grab these notes. I didn't do it when there was no water because it was, the pit was pretty much filled with hot sand and I didn't want to burn to death. And here's a Jinjo. I'm surprised it didn't drown. In fact, I kind of feel bad for just leaving it in the water. But, for some reason, Jinjos can survive in water. I don't know how that is. So, circling around here, more notes to collect. And I think this is the last one. Okay, that's the last one, so let's swim back up to the surface. And now, we need to do something about these sphinxes over here. It seems to be opening its mouth or something, so what would happen if we fed it eggs? Three eggs will do the trick for us to reveal, or for it to reveal a secret of some kind, but we're not quite done yet. So we need to move on to the next one and do the same thing. Come on, Banjo, get up there. Wait, why isn't it moving? Okay. Okay, three eggs to its mouth. Causes the pyramid to rise again. And here's the last one, right over here. Let's make our way to it, feed it the eggs, and then we can gain access inside the pyramid. Also, just a bit of a heads up, guys. This is probably going to be my shortest episode for the whole entire series. What I'm going to do is accomplish everything in Gobi's Valley and then try to find the hub to the next world and then end it off there. So this may be short. I'm sorry guys, but I don't want to, um, to just make the episode too long and I wanted to finish what I started in Gobi's Valley, so to say. Okay, so now we can get inside the pyramid. This is King Sandybutt's tomb. Turn back or face his wrath. <laughs> Sandybutt. Anyway, what sort of wrath do you speak of? And what's with the spikes up in the ceiling? I wonder what this is. Uh-oh. You chose not to heed our warning. 
Prepare to run. Okay, so apparently this was a trap, and we have 60 seconds in which to escape from this trap. This place is like a maze, so don't be surprised if it takes you a while to find your way out. And here's a Grunty Switch on the way towards the exit. The bonus jiggy that we can find in Grunty's lair is inside that coffin. And now it's only a matter of finding our way out of here within 30 seconds. I really hope that I get this done. I don't want to get crushed by those spikes. Very dangerous. Where's the way out? Where's the way out? Where's the way out? Where is the way out? Here it is. No! The bear survived! He's after the king's ancient relic! Darn right I am. Especially if it has a jiggy inside. I'm taking this with me. And in this pot over here, we have another Jinjo, the last one in the level, to give us another Jiggy. And this makes everything in Gobi's Valley complete, according to the totals list, which I will check now. 110-2. We are done with this level, guys, so I guess we can say goodbye to Egypt. Uh, I mean, Gobi's Valley. I'm not sure where exactly in the world this is, but... But, uh, yeah, it doesn't really matter because we can now leave this dreaded area. Also, another thing to note, if this is the middle of a desert, then how is it possible for hives to exist out here and bees to survive? I mean, as far as I know, deserts have an intense amount of, have an intense amount of heat, and I don't think anything as small as bees could survive. And real quick guys, I just want to show you what happens if you destroy the hive. I felt like doing this just so that I could let you guys know. So, I'm going to destroy the hive from a safe distance. Okay, that didn't go so well. Let me try again. So, destroying the hive from a safe distance. It causes the bees to become extremely agitated. And if you get close, they will come for you instantly. Just thought I'd like to show that off. Okay, so now that we're done with Gobi's Valley, let's see if we can find our way to progress through Grunty's Lair. As soon as we pick up the Jiggy from that uh, coffin that we saw earlier. And you can only reach it with the shock, the shock jump this path. The backflip won't help you get high enough to the Jiggy. Okay. Now let's go back into this room and make our way for that witch statue head because I believe that is where we will find the next level. So here we are back in the lava room. Picture of Gobi's Valley complete. Of course, we don't have to worry about that. Okay, um, it's a bit dark. Tootie's faith is looking grim. It's because her brother's dim. That may be true, Grunty, but at least I'm making progress. What do you have to say about that? Nothing? That's what I thought, stupid witch. So guys, here's the hub to my next level. Well, the next level. And this is my favorite level in the whole entire game. Oh man, I can't believe we made it this far. It's going to be so fun going through the many haunted and dangerous and monstrous trials in this world. It really is. So if you have a look in this hub world, we have a bunch of gravestones out here. And one of them hides a surprise. It's Brentilda the witch right here. Or fairy, I should say. Do you know Warpax keeps a dragon's foot in her pocket for luck? How'd she even get the foot in the first place? I've also seen my sister cuddling a huge sweaty baboon in bed at night. That's just disgusting. She's really proud of her broomstick. It's a top of the range Rough Rider Deluxe. Sounds very fast. Thanks for showing us. Uh, telling us that, Brentilda. 
And also in the back of this hub world, we have a beehive. But we're not going to worry about that. Now, before we gain entrance to Mad Monster Mansion, there is another thing that I want to show you guys. This gate over here can be destroyed by means of any attack whatsoever. And we have another miniature version of a tiny castle with a hole in the door. So that means that we won't be able to get inside given the fact that we're too big for the hole. So we're going to have to find a way to resize ourselves in order to, um, to gain access inside the castle in order to find out what's in it. I guess we're going to have to ask Mumble's help again. Or ask for Mumble's help, I should say. Anyway, with everything pretty much figured out for this area, I think now is a good time to head into Mad Monster Mansion. In the next episode, I'm sorry guys. Um, I'm, I apologize if this episode was too short, but I, as I said before, I just wanted to accomplish everything in Gobi's Valley and then just end it off from there. So I'm sorry guys, but I'm going to have to leave you with a cliffhanger and tell you guys that that is the end of the episode. In the next episode, however, we're going to start exploring Mad Monster Mansion and endure the dangerous, ghostly, and gruesome trials that await us. So, until next time, I'm Multigame Master 1, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys later.